to Mexico now, where that country is dealing actually with two disasters tonight, including the strongest earthquake in a century. Nearly 60 people have died in that quake. The Mexican government believes that number will climb as crews dig through the rubble. The deadly quake reduced homes off Mexico's southern coast to rubble. But the shaking could be felt hundreds of miles away in Mexico City and even in parts of Guatemala. It struck just after 10 last night on Mexico's southern coast. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins spoke to a Northern California woman who felt the shaking and is in the newsroom now with more. Macy. Well, Angela and Sam, to make things worse, the people of Mexico also had to deal with the threat of a tsunami right after the quake. I talked to one woman who says the quake shook her up just as she was heading to bed. Just before midnight, an 8.1 earthquake rocked the southern coast of Mexico. Have you ever been where you're like a train comes by and you're in a building and you can feel it move and you can feel the ground shaking? Chelsea Glass was in Antigua, Guatemala when it hit 336 miles away from the epicenter of the quake in Chiapas, Mexico. But it went on for a minute and a half, which is a really long time. As it went on for longer and longer, I grew concerned. Originally from Sacramento, Glass now runs a travel company in Central America. The whole town was shook up more than usual for just a regular earthquake. Worried, Glass emailed her friend in Sacramento. Maria Harrington runs a local language school called Casa de Español. Yeah, thank goodness now, as you know, they have some form of internet. And back in 2011, she started a nonprofit called Help Chiapas in the same state where 10 people died in Thursday's quake. What we do is we take down um, dentists, we take down optometrists, and then we do a lot of educational things with the kids. She fell in love with the indigenous culture in Chiapas while working on her masters in the area. We sent a text immediately to find out how they were. Most responded with good news, but one woman said her home was destroyed by the quake. It's devastating for these people because it's taken them so long to be able to just have a home for most of them. And even with thousands of miles between them, Harrington and Glass say their priority is helping those in need. Luckily, everybody that I know here in Guatemala and in Mexico are fine, um, but that definitely, unfortunately, hasn't been the case for everybody. Casa de Español is raising money to send to Chiapas. If you'd like to donate, you can go to helpchiapas.org, and that information is also on our website, cbs13.com. Mm. All right, they will need a lot of help, Macy mm -hmm. Jenkins. Thank you so much for that. Last